Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundha Rajay, who is facing a daily attack from the Congress. At the center of it is the Dholpur Palace. Remember, Vasundra was married into the royal family of Dholpur. She is now accused of converting the palace property which the Congress claims belongs to the government into a luxury hotel with Lalit Modi's help. And clearly every day the Congress is coming out with new documents. But the BJP has its own sets of documents. The document war of Dholpur. Smita Sharma reports. Dholpur Mahal Sarkari Sampatti Tha or Sarkari Sampatti Hai. City Palace Jodhpur, Apne Dholpur. Ye handover taker over 22 Yara Unniso Atamanko, Government of India Kedwara. Rajasthan's luxurious Dholpur Palace has become the latest flashpoint between the BJP and the Congress. An attack in Delhi resonating fiercely in Jaipur. And today, it was another day of press conferences, another day of attacks, another day of fresh revelations. Leading the Congress charge, Jairam Ramesh alleged that documents from 1949 reveal that the Dholpur Palace belongs to the government and has been illegally converted into a luxury hotel by Vasundhara Rajay, Hassan Dushyan Singh and Lalit Modi. इस सरकारी संपत्ति को गैर कानूनी तरीके से निजी जायदाद के रूप में बदला गया है वसुंधरा राजे उनके परिवार और ललित मोदी से बाद बीजेपी रीइटरेटेड इट्स पोजीशन दैट ढोलपुर पैलेस बिलोंग्स टू दुष्यंत सिंह जब 1956 में गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने Dholpur Palace, Maharaja Heman Singh Ji ko de diya, to Gunni so Gunchas ka order kaha stand karta hai? But in this constant mudslinging, there are questions being raised about the ownership of Dholpur Palace. Varma Bhaji, Tarbik ke, Dekhiye, 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 but the Congress is alleging that Dholpur Palace was always a government property and as documents suggest, the palace was handed over to the government 40 years ago by the former Raja of Dholpur. Flashing documentary proof, the BJP claims that Dholpur Palace was returned to Raja's family in 1958 in exchange for other property and assets. With Smita Sharma in Jaipur, Bureau Report, India Today. And Smita Sharma has been going through all the documents. She brings us the very latest. Smita, two sets of documents are coming out. Congress is bringing out national archives dated back to 1949 today to suggest that this is government property. I have with me 2007, the deal which was signed between Dushyan Singh and his father, the estranged husband of Vasundha Rajay, the legal document which suggests that the palace was to be given to Dushyan Singh and other properties outside Dholpur would go to Vasundra's husband, Heman Singh. Now, what are you gathering? Is it, is it as clear? Is it a black and white situation or are there shades of grey as to who really controls Dholpur Palace and is it private property or government property? Well, uh, Rajdeep, uh, you know, at the very outset, disclaimer, I'm not a legal and a taxes expert, but whatever I've been able to understand through the entire maze of documents that we've been going through, because there have been selective leaks to, of course, uh, sections of the media, you know, from both camps. Right. And clearly, you know, if uh, Jairam Ramesh is right in waiving that National Archival Records, where he says that there was an instrument of accession that made this Dholpur City Palace really a state property, but also I have seen that 1980 Daf uh, affidavit submitted 
arrested in court by Hemant Singh, a Vasundra Raj's estranged husband. Now, in that affidavit, Hemant Singh clearly mentions that in, in 1958, there was an exchange of property under which the Kazarbag uh, Palace was actually made into a state property in lieu of the Dholpur City Palace, which was returned back to Hemant Singh as a uh, private property. Now, uh, I must say that this uh, paragraph in that 1980 affidavit, this needs to be supported by that original 1958 document, which is something which still needs to be present or placed in public domain, which has been referred to by the BJP, but they have still not circulated copies of the same. On the other question, uh, really, you know, uh, there's also that NHI encroachment case. Now, again, the Congress, of course, has shown the part of the ruling where post-NHI actually uh, buying, you know, compensating Dushyant Raji to the amount of two crores for a little patch of land in the Dholpur city palace calls it a Savai Chak land. But they have not shown the pages prior to that judgment which actually calls it a private property. So while on these grounds clearly right. the Congress accusations seem to be weakening a bit, there are other questions about that acquisition of the property, uh, especially you know in terms of uh, Dushyant Singh and his company Niyan buying Dholpur city palace for 2 crore and the very next day pricing it at 100 crores. So that's where even the Lalit Modi angle comes in for greater questions Rajdeep.